Thank you and good morning. Uh, I'm James Frischling. I'm the CEO of MutiRisk. I'm here with my uh, partner, Mr. Josh Nobu, who's our head of product. Um, I'm not sure if audience participation is welcomed uh, at an event such as this, but uh, how many of you, of you are familiar with infomercials? And if I were to ask you about a kitchen device and maybe a Showtime rotisserie, and I said two words, would you be able to say the next three words? If I said, said it, you guys would say forget it. Well, there's been the philosophy of the muni market for probably the last 30 years. Um, the muni market, I like to say, this is not your parents' muni market. It's long been plagued uh, by a philosophy that you would buy your positions, you would have an over-reliance on ratings and a particular reliance on the very uh, market participants that sold you the securities in the first place. Essentially, there was a lot of, in our opinion, very good detailed credit work being done. And I know what you're thinking, what's sexier the muni bonds. But most of you have some sort of exposure to muni bonds. Muni bonds represent an almost $4 trillion market. Uh, there are over 50,000 unique issuers and obligations in the muni market. Compare that to corporate bonds where there's about a little over 5,000. And yet, there is no centralized database. The market is incredibly fragmented. So we at MuniRisk um, have really, uh, over a couple of years ago, recognized that while there are the default rates in Muni, and I'm not gonna teach you about Munis because that would put more people, uh, I guess, uh, to, to sleep. But if I say things like Puerto Rico and Detroit and Jefferson County and Orange County, Stockton and San Bernardino, there are billions and billions of losses as a result of, of, the, of failures in the Muni market. So. At MuniRisk, we've created a solution uh, and the first and one and only, I guess, full database with uh, associated uh, analytics for credit research and relative value analysis on the Muni market. My colleague, Josh Noble, is going to present to you a couple things. He's going to give you a grid view that's going to show you how we import and look at multiple portfolios. He's going to show you a heat map, a heat map, which talks about grouping and scaling of positions and allows for an early warning system. An obligor view uh, that shows deep dive into financial, economic, demographic, and socioeconomic data. And then finally, he's going to show you the auto reporting functionality, which we find to be the most valued feature from our, our customers and clients, because in this, in this regulatory environment and with demands uh, from boards and investors, the ability and the need to generate your own reports is essential. MuniRisk is that time saver that allows uh, the users to spend their time on the valuable work as opposed to collecting the data. So Josh, I'll pass it to you. Thank you, Jamie. So as of right now, our application is exclusive to the Bloomberg terminal. For those of you with access to a terminal, you can find us in the App Store or by typing in our shortcut, which is apps, A-P-P-S, credit, and go. From there, you can request a trial of the application, and I'll pull it up here. Now, the application comes pre-populated with a sample portfolio of approximately 50 securities, which we'll take a look at in just a second. But before I begin, I will say that one of the things we pride ourselves on is the degree to which we've integrated existing terminal functionality into the application. So whether you manage your portfolios through an external client or through port on Bloomberg, we've provided a couple of efficient ways to import them into MuniRisk, which you can see here. After launching the application, you'll be taken to our portfolio tab, which of course contains, contains functionality geared towards this portfolio management use case. Specifically, we're looking at the grid view, which enables you to quickly sort, filter, and group your entire portfolio with the drag of a mouse. So as you can see here, by default, our portfolio is grouped by sector, but we can just as easily get rid of that. And for example, we can now summarize it by state. And if you scroll through here, you can see this is a very California-centric portfolio. We've built in a couple of other views to help you visualize your portfolio, the next of which is the heat map. What you're looking at here is dynamic based on your portfolio composition. And as a manager, you of course want to see a lot of green and avoid any large boxes. Now, if you hover over any of these boxes, it provides transparency into the underlying security. And if you look here, we're looking at, of course, the bane of the municipal market, the Commonwealth of Puerto Rico. Now, if we click on this box, we'll be brought through to our next tab, the obligor view, which is where, as an analyst, you conduct the bulk, the bulk of your due diligence and credit research. So here, you can deep dive into financial, economic, demographic, and in the case of revenue bonds, sector-specific data. Now, we at MuniRisk have painstakingly reclassified and geomapped 
all, the entire universe of municipal issuers to ensure we're providing you with the most relevant data, no matter how fragmented your portfolio. Furthermore, as Jimmy said, we've built in automated reporting functionality, which allows you to generate PDF reports containing if issuer information, reference data, and programmable charts and tables for all of the data sets from the previous tab, which can then be used to meet the due diligence requirements of both investment committees and regulators alike. Additionally, by reclassifying the entire issuer universe, we've opened the door to true relative value investing in the municipal market. And a lot of the functionality we'll be rolling out over the next couple of months will be help geared towards helping traders realize that opportunity. With that said, I'll pass it back to Jimmy, and he'll tell you about, a little bit more about where you can find us this afternoon. So uh, Josh and I will be at our booth um, uh, in the exhibition hall. Uh, we will have our, our materials with us as well as the ability to demo and maybe do a little further deep dive into the, into the software, into the application for those that are interested. Again, what Muni Risk is trying to address is the highly fragmented nature of the Muni market, uh, the lack of standardization, um, and the inability at present for employees and workers in the Muni space um, to essentially uh, perform the types of evaluation they're allocating a disproportionate amount of their time to the collection, sorting, uh, and manipulation of the data in order to make it user-friendly, whereas Munirisk allows them to have all this data at their fingertips and charge ahead um, with, their, with their work processes. The clients that we have, uh, as Josh said, we're up running on the Bloomberg app portal system. The clients that we have, um, again, didn't realize how much time they'd spent uh, collecting data elsewhere until they started using our terminal. So again, if there's one thing you take away from our discussion regarding Munirisk, it's an efficiency tool. It saves you time. Time saves you money. Uh, it allows your workforce to focus again on the more high-valued and, and high-quality things uh, that you'd like them and expect them to. The media market respectfully has been slow to embrace technology. We'd like to uh, try to disrupt it or make a change with Munirisk. Thank you very much for your time and attention this morning. We hope to see you in the exhibition hall.